Here's your report, Grant. 49ers and Commanders had a trade in place for Jimmy Garoppolo. Teams had the perimeters of a trade agreement in place for Garoppolo earlier this year, but it fell through. He opted to have shoulder surgery per Adam Schefter, which is very interesting overall. Maybe they didn't want him to have it until he's officially signed with them or something like that. But maybe that's why the 49ers were surprised they resigned and said that and thought he was going to go with the Commanders. Well, it just would have probably been a better option than Carson Wentz, in my opinion. If they would have signed Jimmy G, I think that would have got him a way better chance to go to the playoffs. And the Commanders, I think they'd probably be one of the bottom of their divisions with the Cowboys. And I think the Eagles are going to be at the top. It's your report, Grant. If you're Chargers fans, here's some big news from earlier. Justin Herbert trying to play versus Jaguars. Herbert Rib will decide to take on a painkilling injection to play per Adam Schefter, which for those who don't see, in that Chargers versus Chiefs game, He'd get kind of injured, so this is why he has to take the, the pain injection. And hopefully it does work, because this is truly some more of your stuff to really take this pain-killing injection to go play in a football game against the Jaguars. What do you think about this move? And do you think he should just sit out because it's Jaguars? Or do you think he should just keep playing? Make sure report you right on. Tom Brady broke two tablets. He broke one last week against the Saints. He did one last year as well, which is insane. That he keeps breaking these tablets. And... What do you think about this? Sports Illustrated NFL teams receive memo threatening punishment for breaking tablets via Jay Glazer Fox Sports, which this is going to be very interesting happening. I'm surprised they didn't do this last year when Tom Brady literally broke a tablet and now he broke another one last week against the Saints. He literally just threw it on the ground and he threw it very hard as well. This is very interesting. How many other players do you think will do this? And I haven't seen any other players in the NFL break a tablet except Tom Brady. And if they do eventually put a suspension or a fine on it, what do you think it should be? What should the punishment be? I think a fine sounds about right just for breaking NFL equipment. Maybe like a $10,000 to $5,000 fine sounds about right. Suspension is a bit much for me, but what do you think about this?